What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about the Steiner MPS Red Dot for your handgun. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to be talking about the Steiner MPS Red Dot for handguns. Uh, I just recently picked this up from NoOtherChoice.com. Uh, so if you would like one, I don't think he has any more in stock right now. Or if you're looking for another particular Red Dot or any type of gear, mags, optics, flashlights, whatever you need. For your setup or change your setup maybe you're doing a new setup get out to nootherchoice.com use code scgs5 and you will get a discount off of any of your gear get out there and get you some nice swag like the shirt i've got on here also use scgs5 and you will get a discount off of any gear or swag only thing the discount does not apply to is his training this only applies to the gear. So again, NoOtherChoice.com. Use code SCGS5. I'll have it somewhere in the screen as well as in the description below. But that way you can get you whatever you might need for your handgun, rifle, shotgun, uh, medical gear, whatever you need. Get out there, use my discount, get what you need. Now, I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to actually get this onto a handgun and start using it. I've heard absolutely amazing things. So I am really excited to get this and get it onto a handgun. Now, before I get it onto a handgun, I do have to get a conversion plate and we're gonna talk about that. So of course you've got your manual and then you've got your cleaning rag for the lenses and stuff of course most of them are going to send a battery and uh, that's the CR1632 is the battery that it takes uh, and then you get your tool for putting in the battery as well as adjusting the windage and elevation it does come with a plate all right now the particular thing about this and why I say a conversion plate is this is the same cut as your aim point acro it's not like most of them that are cut for rmr so um, you will have to get a conversion plate or if you can find somebody that can go ahead and cut your slide for it then there you go uh, i have not been able to find anybody that's able to do that so most of my handguns already have, already have an RMR cut on it because I'm already running some halisons on them. Uh, I just got to get the conversion plate. So, but again, it does come with a plate. It does come with the screws that you need as well. And dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Here is the optic. All right. So, MPS. If you do not know. MPS stands for micro pistol sight. So there you go. Now you know what MPS stands for if you've been wondering or you're sitting there scratching your head going, well, what does MPS stand for? MPS is for micro pistol sight. Now, weight on this thing is about two ounces, maybe a little bit more, right in that range there. Um, this is a steel housing. All right, so it has an enhanced sidewall, so it's rugged, it can handle any condition, it's watertight, so water's not going to get in it. Your battery door is right up here at the top, so you don't have to take this thing off to change the battery, it's right up there at the top. I will say, playing with it a little bit. You kind of have to make sure you've got the battery door in the right spot so you're not cross-threading or stripping out 
the threading when you're putting it back on. So you have to give it a little bit of pressure when you're taking that battery cover on and off. I will say that's about right now the only thing that I don't like about it is the battery door. Not that I don't hate it or anything like that. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not going to use it just because of how this battery door is set up, but you just have to put a little bit of pressure on it while you're starting to screw it in. That's the only thing. But you've got your elevation, you've got your windage. All right, here's your buttons on the side to brighten or dim your dot. All right, you press the plus sign once to turn it on. Press and hold the minus sign to turn it off. All right, is it a 3.3 MOA dot? There's eight brightness settings and you've got two night vision settings. So yes, this can be used with night vision. Your battery, from what they're saying, uh, should last up to about 13,000 hours. All right, that's just gonna depend on how much you're using it. The window on this thing is, I'm not gonna say it's huge. I've seen bigger windows, but I mean, it's, it's good and you don't get that tunnel vision kind of feeling with it or anything like that uh, the dot is really really clear uh, I can I think three setting three was right when it kind of popped up for me um, one and two was just not quite bright enough for me to catch during the daytime I can promise you that's going to be different at night, but I would say about three is when it kind of popped up where I could see it. And then, of course, you go all the way up to eight and it gets bright. Now, I will say when you're siding this thing in, you want it in the lowest setting that you can see. The lowest setting that you can see. Don't crank it all the way up. Now, another great thing is the window is kind of recessed here, all right? And it's kind of with the kind of a metal hood that hangs over so you've got a lot of protection around these windows. This is a really, really great optic if you're looking for something rugged, okay? Don't know if I would say I'd put this on like a subcompact or anything like that um, because with your adapter plate, that's gonna beef it up a little bit. So this would probably this is something I'm going to put on one of my fighting guns. I'm not going to be putting it onto my carry gun or anything like that. But I am really liking what I've seen so far. Again, only issue is with that battery cover and just the pressure that you have to give it, just to make sure you got it, because it'll sit there and kind of wobble back and forth like that. So. I just put some pressure on the sides here to make sure everything stays lined up. But you will need the tool when you're putting, to me it was easy with the tool. Um, my fingers, it was a little bit difficult. I've got fat fingers, so that could be part of the problem. But I'm really liking this. I'm really excited to get this thing mounted up. I, again, I've, I've just got to get the plates now. If you need mounts for it, um, they had some recommendations on their website. It was uh, American Defense Manufacturing. This is, these are for the mounts, not the plates. The mounts is American Defense Manufacturing uh, Arisica, if I said that right. Uh, Defense, uh, Reptilia, uh, and then Un Unity and Van Comp were the place you could go to get the mounts. Now the plates, a lot of options there, Apex Tactical, Dawson Precision, uh, Jagger Works. Works is not W-O-R-K-S, it's W-E-R-K-S. So Jagger Works, J-A-G-E-R-W-E-R-K-S. Uh, Ford Control Designs, Overwatch Precision, uh, Primary Machines and Strike Industry are all places where you can get the plates. And that's also on their website as well too. I'll have their website down in the description so you can go in and take a look at it but if you're looking for a good durable optic this this is it this is the one now one thing i'm going to help you out with because uh, again i've got to get the plates there's just a few other things i've been focused on for the time being to some of my other guns before getting this plate 
So if you go out and check out Pivotal Defense after this video, he's going to have a video up because he's actually had a chance to get it mounted onto his gun and he's been using it some. So go and check out Pivotal Defense. He's going to have a brief little overview of how everything looks and works uh, with running the gun since I have not had a chance to get that mounted. So bounce over there again. That's Pivotal Defense. Uh, check him out. If you're not following him, go ahead and give him a follow. Subscribe to his page. He's got some great stuff coming out. But he is going to do a follow-up video after mine uh, just since he's got it mounted and kind of give you an idea of what it's like to actually run it on the gun. Uh, later on down the road, I'll probably bounce back and maybe come back to it. But at least you've got a video you can go and watch after this to see what it's like to actually run it on the gun. So make sure you check him out. Again, if you're wanting this particular optic, all right, and you want to save a little bit of money getting this particular optic, uh, retail was around 630 to 650. I think most places are selling them around the 500 mark. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on where you go. But if you want to save some money, NoOtherChoice.com. You can get these or any other optics. SCGS5, like South Carolina Gun School, but abbreviated. SCGS5, and you will save money on any gear or swag that you get from him. I also want to give him a huge shout out for letting me know he had these back in stock so I could go ahead and get my hands on one. Who knows, maybe if you can't find one and you really want one, hit me up and maybe we can work a deal. You never know. All right, so check that out, knowthechoice.com, SCGS5. Please make sure you get out to my website, scgunschool.com. Check out my schedule. I've got classes coming up. We also travel, so anywhere in the U.S., as long as you've got a safe place to shoot, we will come to you and we do set up private classes and travel classes. So scgunschool.com to check that out. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range. <laughs>